Arizona, when we think of geology, we immediately think of the spectacular sedimentary rocks of the Grand Canyon. Yet, hidden beneath the desert landscape of Saguaro National Park, the metamorphic rocks of the Rincon Mountains tell a story that is no less wondrous and much more complex. These metamorphic rocks have risen to the surface of the earth from deep inside the crust, where intense heat and pressure transformed them into something entirely different than sedimentary or volcanic rocks. In Saguaro National Park, they are exposed in what geologists around the world recognize as one of the most stunning examples of what they call a metamorphic core complex. Classically, we think of mountain systems as having formed through compression, shortening, thickening of the crust, and uplift of the system. Metamorphic core complexes, on the other hand, form through stretching, extension, lengthening of the crust under the influence of tectonic stresses. For decades, geoscientists from all over the world have come to Sororo to study metamorphic rocks. But what exactly is a metamorphic core complex, and how did it come to be? To begin, Let's follow the journey of a single crystal collected from Havelina Rocks, an important stop along the Cactus Loop Drive. This small flake of zircon is thinner than a sheet of paper, yet has managed to survive intact for more than a billion years since its formation. Armed with microscopes, tweezers, and advanced lasers, scientists are slowly learning the story of the mountain through these crystals. The zircon crystals that occur at the Earth's surface today are in some ways like microscopic time capsules. By studying the rings in our small crystal, we know that it crystallized more than 1.7 billion years ago, when the earliest life forms were appearing on Earth. Around 30 million years ago, the crystal and the rocks surrounding it began creeping upwards from deep in Earth's crust. By 20 million years ago, it was four to five miles from the planet's surface. Today, our crystal from Havelina Rocks has traveled upwards by more than 10 miles. By comparison, the Grand Canyon is only around one mile deep at its deepest point. But how did the zircon crystal at Havelina Rocks get to where they are today? The answer lies in the Catalina Detachment Fault. A rare geological structure, largely hidden, that snakes its way through Saguaro National Park. On one side of this fault are shallow, sedimentary, and volcanic rocks that were originally deposited on the Earth's surface, like the rock layers of the Grand Canyon. On the other side are the deeper, crystalline, metamorphic rocks of the core complex. We can think of the detachment fault as a huge crack cutting through the outer shell of the planet. As the metamorphic rocks of the core complex moved up along the crack, the sedimentary and volcanic rocks of the upper plate above them moved down and away towards the west. Eventually, the metamorphic rocks reached the surface in the park's eastern Rincon Mountain District, while the upper plate rocks, which started in the east, came to rest miles to the west in what is now the park's Tucson Mountain District. Normally, like in the Grand Canyon region, you need a canyon to go deep enough to expose the deep rocks. In the core complexes, the natural process of shearing and faulting as the crust extends brings to the surface rocks that were once buried at depths of 10 to 20 miles beneath the surface of the earth. Earthquake by earthquake, over millions of years, the core complex rose up to where we see it today. At the surface, this movement left behind a landscape of telltale traces. Tremendous stretching and sliding along the detachment fault warped the Earth's surface, shaping the park's landscape into a series of undulating waves. You can see this in the Tanka Verde Ridge, one of the crests of these waves. And you can also see it in the W shape of the detachment fault traced along the surface of the land. The fault movement left lined, or linear features, that are so consistent in their direction that you can see them everywhere, at the scale of mountains, in the ridges and valleys, down to the scale of individual minerals. Every single rock is imprinted by this line of shearing. We see it here, we see it here, 
in this sample. We see it here. In these metamorphic rocks, you can see how the individual mineral crystals in the rocks were stretched and deformed when they were still hot enough to flow while being solid at the same time, like currents in a creeping glacier, frozen in time. These imprints and lines are what geologists from all over the world come to Saguaro National Park to see today. The metamorphic core complex is a place of mystery and paradoxes, and research continues to this day. So the next time you hike among the saguaros in the park, over the hills of intricately layered rocks, take a moment to look closely at them. They have a unique beauty, especially in the evening sunset. But they are also windows into Earth's past, clues from unseen depths of the slowly churning planet below us, a frozen record of our dynamic world.